The nominees for outstanding live coverage of a current news story, long form, are Boston Marathon bombings, CBS News. The election of Pope Francis, CBS News. CNN's coverage of Typhoon Haiyan, CNN Newsroom. Boston Marathon bombings, NBC News specials. Inauguration of Barack Obama, NBC News specials. There are two recipients of this award. The first Emmy goes to CBS News, Boston Marathon Bombings. Accepting the Emmy, Bob Orr, correspondent. And right now the federal government's just getting ramped up in the sense of getting all of its command centers and control rooms together to try to figure out what this is. The preliminary cut of information, and I emphasize capital P preliminary, there are about a dozen people hurt. That's the first word back to the federal government. About a dozen people hurt. No confirmed fatalities right now. So far, and we don't know whether this was an accident, a natural gas explosion, or something more sinister, uh, there have been no claims of any kind of responsibility. Thank you. My colleague Scott Pelley likes to say it's CBS News with all of us. And I think it took all of us to cover a story like that over four days. So we thank the Academy. We're very honored to receive the award. But we also want to remember there were people that did a lot more than we did for those five days. Uh, the first responders that showed up to answer the call, the families who fought through the pain, and more importantly, the people of Boston who showed us that resilience matters and that the takeaway here is not that one bad day on Boylston Street, but the strength that all of us gathered in the days that followed. So thanks once again. We're very honored. And the other Emmy goes to NBC News Specials, Boston Marathon Bombings. Accepting the Emmy, Bob Epstein, Vice President. Huge sigh of relief for these folks who uh, who were uh, facing another very difficult night uh, with, the, with the threat of, uh, of these crazed bombers in their midst, and, and now it's over. And, and these first responders who we have watched uh, with such admiration and as they went in this very dangerous work, I mean, who among us would want to chase people throwing grenades and, and, and homemade bombs and, and engaging us in firefights and the sort of things that they put up with uh, last night. As our colleagues at uh, CBS said, thank you. Thank you very much. And from, from all of our team here and from the countless people who couldn't uh, join us here tonight as well, we, we all know what happened that day. Something horrible happened at 2.50 in the afternoon on Patriots Day. By 10 or 15 minutes later, I think it was 3.12, Brian Williams was first on the air with the pictures from our Boston affiliates, WHDH, New England Cable News, and then our entire organization showed what we can hopefully all do best under these extraordinary stresses of reporting a story in real time, and that is to be accurate. And that's what we strive to do over those five days. We, everyone in the organization stuck to that principle of accuracy. Um, one of the people who couldn't make it here tonight, uh, our justice correspondent, Pete Williams. Um, yay, Pete. At one point during the coverage, trending on Twitter was hashtag trust in Pete. And um, that's kind of was our motto through all of this. So we want to thank you all of it. It was a difficult week for all of us, especially for the people of Boston. And so we thank you and um, we dedicate this to the people of the great city of Boston. Thank you all.